This is the video for Fun with Patterns. I set the yellow highlighted line to the top of the routine for this square. So if I now click on RT for real time, I should go to that routine. Alright, well, here I see it's making a pattern. It says it's making a pattern with five points in it. The first is 400, 400, that's this corner. Then 500, 400, oh, which is halfway across here. Then 600, 400, that's over here. Then 600, 600, that's down here. And finally it says 400, 600, that's over here. And remember, for making a polygon, you don't have to make the last side. It will finish the polygon for you. Well, I want to change this from being a square to being a pointer. I'm going to go here and change the second point to a Y value of 300. Now I change my square to having a point. You can change any one of these values and make the pattern change. These are all relative positions. They are not the actual positions we see down here. Those positions were first determined by the XY position, which is 500, 200, which is the center of the square. Also determined by the size, which is set to 100. That's what made it this size. And the R value was set to zero. That's the rotation. It has no rotation. Well, let's give it some rotation. Let's set it to 120. Well, let's double that to 240. We can double that to 480. And the last one we'll do is 720. Oh, I changed my mind. Why don't we see what happens if we say 960? 960. It's pointing straight up again. Remember, it mods the value with 960. So 960, the remainder after it's divided by 960, is zero. We'll set it back to zero. Well, then comes the size. Now it's size 100. What would happen if we made it size 200? Whoa, really grows, doesn't it? Or the same difference if I made it just size 50. I'm going to have to take that 2 away because that's 250. It would be small like that. Well, I can make it 150, and then I'll make it back to 100. That's the size. See what fun you can have with patterns? You can make them change all kind of ways. And, of course, we can change its X position to, say, 200, and it's over there. Or the X position <laughs> can be changed to 700, it's over there. 500 is the middle. Same thing with the Y position. If I reduce the Y position, it's going to move up. If I increase the Y position, it'll move down. Well, I'll put it back to 200. Alright, next, we can change the color of it. We can quickly change it to 900, which is a bright red. Or 990, which is yellow. And then 999 which is white. We'll change it back to black. Zero, zero, zero. Now we also can change the relationship of tall to wide. T-A-W, tall and wide. First of all, we could say, make it twice as tall, make it 200% tall. There, it's 200% tall. Put it back to 100%. What if we made it 200% wider? There's 200% wider. 
Or we could really do any combination of those two for tall and wide. You can make a pattern into many different shapes. Alright, this is the video about fun with patterns.